We insert the effective load of 2 kN per square meter into all plates of our model. Use the display loads icon to display the selected load case with or without values on the model. At the end of the model input, we can have RFEM perform a plausibility check by clicking the corresponding symbol. We can roughly select what the check should be done and if an FE mesh should be generated. If errors have occurred during the input, they are now displayed. Since our model is finished and created without errors, we can now start the calculation. To do this, we click the Calculate All icon. After the calculation, a fourth tab appears in the navigator called Results. The Results tab is only displayed as long as the Display Results icon is active. We can now find additional options for the results in the panel, such as smooth color transitions, or display factors of the deformation. As always, the navigator is directly connected to our model. We can therefore click the desired result, and it appears in the work window. However, this course only deals with the analysis, that is, deformations and internal forces. As usual, we can also adjust the displayed results in the Views tab. For example, the deformations of the columns are represented as lines and we change this into cross-sections in color. The deformations on the model depend on the selected load case or combination. When scrolling through the load cases, we get the corresponding deformations. What we will look at in this course are the internal forces. To do this, we click them in the navigator, and you can already see them on the model. Of course, we can also change their display. Finally, we can also display the support forces by simply clicking the corresponding symbol. To see a more detailed result diagram, we can right-click any member, and in the shortcut menu, click Result Diagrams. In the new window, we see the selected result in the column on the left, and in the main window, the gradient including the values and signs is highlighted in color. We can also browse through the load cases or combinations right in this window and we do not have to close it. All this information is also available in tabular form.
To do this, we navigate to Table 4 and all results are available in the respective tabs. As long as the boxes of the synchronization are activated, tables and work windows both interact with each other. Thus, when you click an element from the tables, it is selected in the work window. and vice versa. You only have to make sure that you are in the correct tab. For example, if you click on a surface, nothing will happen in the node tab. 